Hey guys, what's happening? Good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Joy here. Um, I plan to do uh, two back-to-back -back fragrance reviews today. Very beautiful weather today outside. Uh, it's uh, Winter is creeping in. At the same time, it's very cloudy. Uh, it, perhaps it will rain. It smells like the air is kind of like moist. Uh, it's kind of like a very cooler sort of a... Uh, not very cold. It's like cooler, breezy, you know, early winter days. Very beautiful day. So it's very relaxing and stuff like that. And uh, I like this kind of days, right? So I plan like, hell, let's do two reviews. So as you can see from the title, I'm going to be doing the other Mercedes Benz, the sample that I have. I have two samples, basically. One is intact. I haven't opened it. And I've been using the other sample halfway down. So I would like to let you know about this. Uh, because this fragrance doesn't have any review whatsoever. I haven't found any, at least uh, in uh, YouTube, right? And the second video I'm going to do is uh, Pure Poison from Dior for women. This fragrance, it's really a classy, uh, class act. Uh, and this fragrance, I believe, also doesn't have so many English reviews. So it will be a pleasure. So I'll do back-to-back reviews, hopefully, if everything goes all right. So my, uh, because the day is kind of cool, I went with one of my favorite fragrances, this is the first reformulation or let, rather say like uh, first uh, yeah, first reformulation of uh, Lanstan de Guerlain. And uh, this is not the extreme version, this is the EDT. But this is really, really awesome. You know, it's like if I get the cacao, I get that orange, I get a little bit of a bitter cacao feel. I really love this. This is a very masculine, potent statement. So I've been wearing this for the afternoon. So let's uh, look into the review uh, for the Mer Mercedes-Benz. But before I start, I would like to add something interesting. Uh, I wrote this in my Facebook group, Fragcom Bangladesh, but I'm telling you here again. A few days back, I think a couple of days back, I did Alexandria Fragrances, Hafez 1984. Uh, and I really, I gave it a perfect 10 uh, because I loved it a lot. And this fragrance is kind of ideal for this cold weather. And it's really beautiful. And you, if you see my review, you'll know like this is really, really potent. But... I was thinking right after the review, something was like missing in, like I, I, I know that something was missing. So immediately I looked at my, one of my Mancera's and bam, this fragrance is very close to the, this one, Red Tobacco by Mancera. So this is going for a kind of like expensive, I think if you convert the 100 ml to 100 ml, kind of similar pricing, but uh, 60 ml you can get it cheaper than this. I think 60 ml of Alexandria would be like around 50, 55 dollars, I think less. Then uh, red tobacco. I don't know how much red tobacco smaller bottles are, but these two are pretty close. This is a little bit more smoky. This is less smoky. That's about it. So basically, the tobacco and then other few other notes are common in these two, right? So that's a heads up I wanted to give you before the review starts. So here we go. Uh, review for the Mercedes Benz. Uh, this is called Mercedes Benz Club, the original one. Okay, they have quite a few ones: black, leather, extreme. And the, all the bottles, they look like this, right? If you see in the market, very beautiful. But I really love this bottle design. I think it's pretty premium. I held it in my hand. I think it, they look really, really good. Uh, you can find them at Perfume World, but uh, they're going to be at retail. So uh, unless you have a discount code or something, uh, it's going to be retail price. Uh, overseas, I think this is now being a little bit, a little bit, I mean, think around 50, 45 to 50 dollars. You can buy, buy this bottle, big bottle of 100 ml. Also come in, I think, 30 and 50 ml. I'm not sure about that. Don't quote me on it. So I didn't open this up. This is a tester. Uh, I bought some fragrances, so I got the samples as gift. Uh, so these are made in France. I'll tell you the information here. It is made in France. And Mercedes-Benz is a car company. So basically, this is a car company fragrance. And they are originated in Germany, right? So this is like German built tough, you know, rough and tough kind of a scenario here. So, but uh, Mercedes-Benz, you guys know, I told you even yesterday I was reviewing the blue one, Mercedes-Benz uh, for men, I think this one, yeah, I reviewed this one yesterday, it's an Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce Mont Blanc Legend kind of clone, and uh, I also happen, happen to have this one's Mercedes-Benz uh, Cologne and Extreme Intense, uh, those fragrances, so this another line, so these bottles, they have quite a few, more I experience, more I buy, I'll review, alright, that's the packaging, you, you will see the picture in the uh, opening so now this fragrance I've been wearing for some time and it's kind of cool I like the silvery chromish kind of a uh, touch to it this official sample of it so it was pretty full I, I gave it a few days wearing and I was just trying to see the performance out of it I got the smell right away what it smells like I wrote even my review on Fragrantica so let's get to the review first of all I think this fragrance is actually 
mass appealing, fresh, kind of like a cooling, aquatic kind of fragrance, fruity, aquatic, citrus, that kind of fragrance. It's very easy to wear kind of fragrance. So if you read fragrance together, you will see a lot of uh, <laughs> hatred and backlash on it. Like, you know, this fragrance sucks, it's synthetic garbage, mess. Yes, I can understand definitely people are being honest and stuff. Definitely they're giving their valuable opinion. But I kind of found it kind of to be, to be very nice. It's it's not exactly clone of something that I can think of. That's a good start. I don't like exact clone of something else. At times it gets boring. <laughs> but uh, I do use a lot of clones. But this fragrance right here is for people who are getting into the fragrance game. Especially people are looking for something summer slash spring. Something nice, sweet, fruity and uh, aquatic. At the same time, kind of like metallic -y, uh you know, not like to the point of savage where you get your headache. No, it has this cooling sort of metallic vibe that you get from this color, silver color. I think this this one has a lot of properties to be a crowd pleaser. It's the same ballpark as a maybe Dior Sauvage kind of a area, but doesn't have that blue sort of feel from it. So the basic notes that I get from it is that dry down for one hour or so. It's already very tame. So some people say they get great performance from it. I guess something to do with the weather condition or the skin chemistry because I did not get the best performance from it. So longevity on this in the kind on the very average side, I would give it like five out of 10 longevity and being generous that is. But maybe with the bigger spray from these bottles, perhaps bigger sprays would help. So all the sample reviews are kind of difficult, but I think I wear like I, I same spot I sprayed three times. That is equivalent to at least one big spray, but even that is not strong enough. So let me tell you how this one smells. So yeah, let me finish with uh, longevity. Longevity is moderate. Projection, not much of it. Same, around the same ballpark average. Uh, versatility, it's good. You can wear it summer and spring, but in the cold weather, I think this will die down in no time. Even if you wear this like 10 sprays in bed, I think you're not gonna smell nothing much, right? So let me tell you what it smells like. So this fragrance, as I told you, it was like a fruity, aquatic, kind of cooling, uh, nice citrus, very crowd pleaser sort of a fragrance, but it's not a copy of anything that I sniffed so far. Okay, so a few fragrances that come to mind. Okay, let me uh, bring out one fragrance. Sorry, I always I'm not very um, organized. So if you know the, okay, what am I doing? This fragrance has top notes of citruses, oranges, and then followed by some aquatic notes, and they put some other juniper berry, blah, blah, whatever. It's not there. There's perhaps tonka bean, maybe there's ambroxan as they mentioned, but there's no green, like a, there's no peppercorn, there's nothing spicy. Perhaps a little bit woody, that it's something like Versace Manu Fresh, but those are much more potent. So this is, if you like Versace Manu Fresh, maybe you'll be interested in this. But uh, if you know the orange note in Clinique Happy For Men, not, but not as potent, then if you like, enjoy the Kenneth Cole Black, right? This one got this, some oranges. And then the fragrance that comes very close to my mind, it's something similar, conceptually similar, 2 on to VIP Men, right, by Carolina Herrera. This fragrance also, as you can see, has that uh, chromish feel, kind of like a fruity, it has some passion fruit in it, it has a lot of citrus and a lot of uh, this vodka note kind of, you also feel kind of like that boozy almost uh, feel, that let's say, uh, um, kind of like orange vodka or something like a fruity vodka, let me spray this uh, to let you know about your top note. If you spray this first time, yeah, there you go. So, when you sniff it first time, it's very pleasant. It's very nice. It's kind of like almost like the passion fruit that you find in 2 on 2 VIP Man. But I'm not saying this is like the same. I'm, I don't like to compare fragrances all that much. But this is a very beautiful orangey, fruity opening. And kind of like mild chocolatey. So it's sweet. Imagine sweet. Uh, it's uh, kind of like a summery. It's kind of like a aquatic. And it's kind of like a watery, uh, metallic this kind of uh, opening. So it's kind of cooling, you know, it's like kind of fruity vodka kind of opening uh, in this Mercedes Benz. And I really like the opening of it. I think that's the part of the best part. I wish that opening stayed like that for a long time, but which it doesn't. Uh, it gets very close to the skin very, very quickly for me. But uh, if it's, imagine right now it's not very hot and humid, perhaps that's the reason. Maybe in the high heat it will bloom more. So I would Check, I'll tell you, you know, check out the bottle. If you go to the malls, check out the fragrance. You might like it. It could be a good everyday fragrance for gym. It's very fresh, work appropriate. If you have a small sample like that, you can respray for every two hours, you'll be good. Uh, I think it would be not hated by anybody. I just checked it with a few people. Nobody really hated it. It's pretty much those safe fragrances. But it's the best part is it's the bottle is really nice. The fragrance is kind of uni on the unique side. And I really feel... Uh, it's actually better quality than many other trash out there. So it's better than many, but it's not absolutely the best. But 
it's a nice fragrance nonetheless. So, you know, because nobody's talking about it, I decided to review it. So check it out. Longevity overall projection. I'll give it like five. Uh, smell of it. I'll give it seven out of ten. Very pleasant smell. Uniqueness, kind of like on the 7.5. Uh, the compliment factors, if people can smell it, they will give you compliments. You might wear, wear it in the hot clubbing setup also. It's maybe you don't want to project so much. It's, it has this nice sort of a Mont Blanc Starwalker kind of projection. But, you know, like it's nice fragrance. So I'm not going to bash the fragrance because it doesn't last. It, it smells nice. So I'm really interested in the black edition of this, which is uh, similar to, I think, uh, uh, Perrier is Black Vanilla Absolute because it has a nice sort of vanilla on that darker sort of side for winter this one i don't think i can pull it off in the winter but i i'm i don't mind wearing the sample but i don't think i'll go for the full bottle uh, where i am in the fragrance collection so check it out you know it's, it could be a nice little addition uh, women i think really like this it has it has like easy to like written all over it and it's not as annoying as dior savage if you think of it so it's a nice little fragrance it's definitely if you are starting in fragrance game you can really treasure this i mean if you are new in the fragrance game and you are into fresh fragrances, you might really, really like it. It's a very likable fragrance. But I'm not going to say because it's likable, I'm going to hate on it. No, it's just nothing uh, out of this world, but I really think it's a pleasant fragrance. That's all. So overall, this fragrance, I'll give it 7 out of 10. Okay, This fragrance, because of the bottle and the smell, just like I wrote in Fragrant Tega. Check it out. You might like it. Take care, guys. Time for the second review. See you. Bye-bye.